Uh, the first item, as you can see here, is a servo top lever gauge. Uh, you could remember that uh, in this uh, struct, in this principle, actually, we need to use a kind of you know flutter, which is uh, being floated on the surface of the uh, floor in the tank. And as you can see, we have two uh, you know types of you know tapping for uh, case of you know guided wire. And as you know that we have you know guided wire too. This one is measuring tape, and you can see two. Uh, shave elbow here and these are some types of you know brackets which are used for uh, installation of this device as I mentioned that before there are some pulleys and sprockets uh, in inside of the servo top level gauge and as you could remember I just mentioned that before this one is just you know working mechanically it doesn't have any devices uh, I mean electronic devices such as hull effect sensors and you know magnet sensors proximity switch nothing actually you know you cannot find any these types of devices inside of this uh, servo type here as you can see this is the flutter and this is the measuring tape to some extent it's a kind of you know perforated tape due to you know having some holes in uh, this tape and you can see the sprocket and the other things which I just previously discussed for you on the whiteboard so uh, you can just see that if you want to install it you have a flutter here these are two guided wires which are going to be actually uh, or which are going to actually fix uh, the floater because as you know that the time that the fluid has some types of you know turbulency or these types of things uh, it is likely uh, to just move you know uh, in uh, across a part of it so if you want to fix the direction of the movement from just down to up you must use the uh, guided wire as well and do not forget you need to just fasten those guided wire with the help of some anchor that are going to be actually you know installed at the bottom of the tank as you can see here these are the anchors that I just mentioned there before you can have it here as well and these are actually two chef elbow you can see that and this is the measuring tape which is going to be you know continued through this uh, for example path or to some extent pipe and finally it reaches to the uh, gauge mounted uh, on the grade you can see this one too and these two uh, taps are the things that I previously showed you for fix the guided wires on the roof of the tank. You can see the different types of or the different shapes of the floater which are used here. For example, I can just tell, tell you that the hollow floater is used for a case of you know one phase, maybe for example the time that you have just hydrocarbon or uh, for example you know water or some types of actually hydrocarbon derivations such as for example methanol uh, you know fuel and uh, things like that you are able to use the hollow floater too the time that you <clears throat> sorry uh, the time that you have uh, a kind of interface I mean the time that you have just two phase liquid inside of your tank you're able to just get the use from the sphere uh, shape of this one and the time that for example the uh, vessel or the drum has the shape of a cylindrical one in this case you're able to just use three different uh, you know sphere shapes uh, and it's really clear here you can just see that with me uh, you can just have severe one here the time that you have interface between uh, the Floyd actually inside of your tank you can see that and the time that you have the severe shape tank you are able to just use two uh, severe shape uh, floater because as you know that you know the related force uh, of them which is actually you know, applied from the, the um, surface of the severe uh, shape tank should be totally uh, you know balance or should be totally equivalent or things like that so that's why we use two uh, balls and you can just see that for case of uh, cylindrical shape we can just use three sphere shape with each other you can see the other shapes of the uh, servo level gauge here as well so here you can just see the side class uh, as, I as I told you before it's just a kind of you know glass column you just install it uh, on the tank and for sure due to uh, the principle of connecting vessels to each other uh, the thing I mean the height that you have inside of your uh, tank is a thing that can be found in the glass column as well so you can just see that these two items these two things actually 
are known as uh, cock valve or gauge valve. You can see that I mentioned that before. These are uh, actually three-way uh, cock valves or gauge valves. You can see one way here, another way here, and finally another one uh, which is going to be connected to the uh, you know, tank too. As you can see here in this uh, picture, we do not have any uh, isolating uh, valve or piping isolating valve here because actually, you know, the thing that we have is just a really small tank containing some water. So there is no need actually to uh, put isolating valve too. But as I mentioned that before the time that you have the pressure vessel or things like that, you must have an isolating valve too. So please bear in mind this important point. So this one actually is a reflex type and in other sheets I'm going to show you, you know, the inside of the reflex side glass as well. <music>